was August 16th of 2006, my oncologist said, I think you have less than 12 months to live. I was definitely in shock. Just three years earlier, Ruth Nolan had been diagnosed with breast cancer. She'd had a benign lump in the past and had put off seeing the doctor because she thought the new lump would be the same thing. I was really busy at work at the time, and especially when you're a working mom, you kind of put yourself last, and your family comes first, and you don't have time to be sick. It was a Friday around between 11 and 12 when I got the call from the doctor. I never expected to get diagnosed at 35, but there's certainly people younger than me that get diagnosed with cancer. I couldn't believe that she was actually telling me that she had breast cancer. You know, initially things looked really good. They thought maybe they had caught it early, but then things just kind of unraveled and we found out that she was actually a stage 3B when she was diagnosed. But that's been seven years ago and she's done remarkable. I used to go have chemo at lunchtime and then come back to work. Had it in her liver, which after treatment it, it responded and she's had several spots in her brain that she's had um, gamma knife radiation on and they've responded. So really her only active disease right now is in her bones, which causes her a great deal of pain. And she has a couple new spots in her brain that she's gonna be going and having gamma, gamma knife here real soon. It's been almost four years since a doctor told her she wouldn't survive another 12 months. Ruth says when she heard that estimate, she refused to stop fighting. At that point, you know, I was a little bit scared, but, you know, none of us know when it's our time. But I just feel like you can't think of it as a death sentence. You have to just live with cancer, and every day you have to get up and do what you normally would do and, you know, just be positive. It's amazing because I've seen people as sick as Ruth is totally give up. She's a mother, she's a wife, she's a friend, she's, you know, so many to so many different people and it seems like she focuses on that part of her life instead of being Ruth with cancer. Even after her terminal diagnosis, Ruth decided to continue treatment and keep fighting. One of my goals was to see my youngest daughter graduate from high school, and she did graduate in June. I was very proud of her. Because I had had cancer since she was in sixth grade, I felt like I wasn't really there for her a lot of the time. I'd love to see her graduate from college now. I'd love to be a grandmother someday. My husband and I will celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary in October. I definitely want to be here for that. I don't know if that's going to happen, you know, but it's probably what I'm living for most.